Now, before we proceed further and learn more about dependency injection in NestJS, let's first understand what are the different types of dependencies we have in NestJS. In NestJS, we have three types of dependencies intramodular dependency, intermodular dependency, and circular dependency. Let's try to understand each of these dependencies one by one. First, we have intramodular dependency. An intramodular dependency refers to a dependency between the components within the same module in NestJS. For example, let's say we have a user module. For that user module, we have the user controller, user service, and custom classes. Now, let's say this user controller is dependent on this user service. So in that case, we would want NestJS to inject an instance of this user service inside this user controller. Now, both user service and user controller belongs to the same module. And this is called as intramodular dependency. Here, the NestJS will inject an instance of user service inside this user controller. And both of these are present in the same module. So this is called as intramodular dependency. And in the last lecture, we saw an example of this intramodular dependency. In this example, we are asking NestJS to inject an instance of this user service class inside this user controller class using dependency injection. And this user service and this user controller, both of them belongs to this user module. Right? And here we have intramodular dependency. The second type of dependency can be an intermodular dependency. An intermodular dependency occurs when a component in one module depends on a component in another module. Let's say in our NestJS application, we have two modules. We have user module and we have tweet module. Now in the tweet module, let's say inside this tweet service, we also want to use the user service of this user module. So in this case, this tweet service has a dependency on the user service of this user module. And this user service, this dependency is present in other module. And the class which is dependent on that user service, it is present in some other module. So here, this tweet service of this tweet module is dependent on the user service of this user module. And this is intermodular dependency. And we will see this intermodular dependency with an example in our coming lectures. Then the third type of dependency is the circular dependency. A circular dependency arises when two or more modules or components have a direct or indirect dependency on each other, forming a cycle. For example, let's say in this auth service, in order to authenticate a user, we need an instance of this user service. And in this user service, in order to, let's say, return a user detail, first, we want to authenticate the user who is making the request. So in that case, in this user service, we would want an instance of this auth service. So here, auth service has a dependency on user service, as well as user service has a dependency on this auth service. So this type of dependency is called as circular dependency. Now, remember that circular dependency is not good. So we should always avoid any type of circular dependency in our program. But sometimes it might be required based on the functionality which you are trying to implement. Okay. And we are also going to see an example of this circular dependency in our coming lectures. So I hope the three types of dependencies are clear to you. Now we have already talked about intramodular dependency, but we are going to talk about intermodular dependency and circular dependency in our coming lectures. And in order to understand intermodular dependency and circular dependency, we need to create some more modules in our application. So let's go to VS Code. And there, along with this user module, we have also created this tweet module. For this tweet module, we have the module class, we have the controller class. We also have this spec.ts file for that controller, but we don't need it. So what I'll do is for now, I'll delete this file. Okay, so now we only have tweetcontroller.ts and tweetmodule.ts. Now, for this tweet module, we are also going to create a service class. And for that, I'm going to use VS Code built-in terminal. Let me go ahead and let me 
clear the terminal here and here to create a service class in nest.js we are going to use the nest cli command and what do we want to do we want to generate a new service class so for that we will use g we want to generate a service and i'm going to call this service as tweet so what this will do is it will create a new file called tweet.service.ts and in that file it is going to create and export a service class called as tweet service so if i go ahead and if i press enter you will see that three changes has happened first it has created this tweet service.ts file and tweet service.spec.ts file and then it has also updated this tweet module so let's see what are the changes that has happened first of all this tweet service.ts file has been created there we have this tweet service class decorated with at injectable decorator and this at injectable decorator is required because we want this tweet service to be injected in other classes as well so this file has been created and this tweet service spec.ts file is also created but since we are not going to use this at this time i am going to delete this file okay and finally if we go to tweet module.ts there you will see in the providers array that tweet service has been added so everything has been taken care of automatically by the nest.js cli now in this tweet service we are going to write the business logic for different types of request which will be handled by this tweet controller so inside this tweet controller we would want to use this tweet service and to use this tweet service inside this tweet controller what we want is we want nest.js to inject an instance of this tweet service inside this tweet controller and for that again inside this class we are going to create a constructor and inside this constructor we are going to create a private parameter let's call it tweet service and we need to specify the type of this tweet service as tweet service then only nest.js will know that for this tweet service it has to inject an instance of this tweet service class and to use this tweet service class we also need to import it from this file okay so in this way we are injecting an instance of this tweet service inside this tweet controller basically nest.js is going to inject an instance of this tweet service inside this tweet controller because we have decorated this tweet service using at injectable decorator and this tweet service is also being provided from tweet module.ts file okay so let's go ahead and let's close unnecessary files here all right so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day